Buen dia amigos! It is Saturday. We are all cuddling in bed. Because as I tell Sonny, he is our emotional support in the morning. Need his cuddles. And then we are his emotional support throughout the day. Watch this. I'm gonna have him wrapped around. Oh! <laughs> We are still parked kind of on the side of the road adjacent to the beach by a restaurant because we don't want to pay for the smelly campground. Yeah, for the smelly campground that's near here. But we unfortunately have to pack up. Hey, and, but we unfortunately have to pack up and leave this morning because we have a bunch of errands to do. And because it's Saturday, all these places that we're going to close before two o'clock. But we got to get out of here quick. This is Sonny on his laptop scrolling through any comments that say that he should be a big brother <laughs> and deleting them. Let's go. These roads ain't getting any better. We're here to pick up about four Amazon packages right now. So like Sam said, we are just picking up some random Amazon packages that we had sent to us at a DHL here in Toros Santos. As always, if you have any questions about Baja, van life, us in general, you can always comment it below on this video and we will get back to you. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And now on to the rest of the video. what we get? Look at this loot. Loot. It's so wild. We were here for four months last year and we never ordered anything. We got Amazon in Mexico. To be totally fair, being in Baja and Mexico in general makes you realize how little you truly need and how much like frivolous spending online is so unimportant because last year we pretty much didn't buy anything except for random local goods while we were here but unfortunately we found out that we could ship ourselves some packages so what we got here is basically replacements of things that we broke while we have been yep. traveling and we got some more compost as well and we also bought a coffee brother actually two coffee coffee frothers, but we broke them while we were driving. So, okay, we do have a few more places to go. So let's see how fast we can knock them out. We have four stops before we can head back to the beach. Stop number one, I need to pick up some razors at a local grocery store. Stop number two, we are going to the local vet to pick up some CBD for Sunny. Stop number three, we are picking up our laundry at the local lavenderia where they have washed, folded, and pressed our clothes. We are very lucky people. Stop number four, we are going to fill up our 33 gallon water tank. And stop number five. Is eating brunch. Mm. And a big pile of mango and passion fruit that I've already been smashing. So juicy. Mm. Mm, that sunshine feels incredible. We've actually been spending the last couple of hours in the van working because when you do freelance work like us, you don't have to work all day every day, but you do have to work on weekends as well just to make sure you get your work done. And I have no problem with that. We are going to do our nightly tradition of walking the beaches of Baja for the sunset because as you know, it's a sin not to see the sunset when you are on the beach in Baja. And we're gonna spend some quality time as a family. Exciting discovery of the day. Sunny loves the fresa con crema that I got from Agricole. Say, Jano, look at the tail. Woohoo! Okay, you get another one. And I gave birth to this over some chair spin. Oh, this is what's on the menu for dinner. This bar, popcorn. Supa, sopa. This weird soup that Sam got at the grocery store, it's just literally just rice, essentially. Not every night is a gourmet meal. So I am actually on a mission right now. We were so depressed with our dinner, so there's only seven minutes left until Barracuda, the place that we are uh, only about five minutes away from closes their kitchen. I'm gonna try and sprint over there and get a burrito to go. So for Kelly and I, it's split. I can't have another night with just freaking 27 peso soup. <laughs> the kitchen was closed. Good morning, 
and happy Sunday. Probably the day that you are watching this video. Last night was super fun. That reggae band was absolutely incredible. I don't know their name. If I find it out, I will tag it in the description, but they were just so incredible. Everyone was on their feet dancing. Again, it's just crazy to be in Mexico at a bar where you know almost every person there. I just feel really lucky that we found this community here over the past couple of years through living in a van. Who knew that would happen? If you follow our Instagram, Nate from Coordinate actually ended up fixing our Victron battery meter. So we've actually never been able to read properly how much certain applications take in terms of amps and power. So it's just kind of been like ignorance is bliss. Now I kind of know how much these things take and it's quite a lot of power. What does that do for you? It gives me anxiety. See, I just live in the land of the power's all gonna work out. It's a better land to live in. <laughs> If we just want for a thing. <laughs> Basically, if you just click the button, it'll do like a, a subtle froth and just warm up the milk. We forgot to put the whisk in the coffee frother. Oh. Sorry. Now it's going. Whoa, baby, look at that. Coffee, madam. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Should <gasps> we try the thingy? Yeah. Let me make it special. different mm. as our friends call it a cup of ambition we are off to the dance class it is called the ecstatic dance class so i was thinking it was gonna be more like a zumba type vibe but i think it's gonna be more like a yoga like moves the body i don't know but we have a pretty good crew going with us we have vans in front of us and behind us we are all caravanning to the yoga studio so i'll let you know how it goes and we'll see what the boys get up to while we're there Wow, look at this. The grounds here are so beautiful. The grounds. When it's this pretty, it's grounds. While the girls are exercising, the boys are gonna do our own form of exercising. So we got one one wheel, two one wheel, three one wheel, one skateboarder, great human, and we got one, two, three, four, five dogs. <laughs> that is. Now we are all gonna go to lunch and get burgers for the first time since we've been here in Baja, so over two months now. I'm so craving just like non tacos. Gonna get a veggie burger, some onion rings, milkshake. Well, we can give him a French fry. He needs his feature. Okay, this yeah. is the move we're gonna do, ready? I don't- oh, <laughs> no. Kelly inside. This is what Sunny does every time we come back from anywhere on a walk. He goes crazy! If you're observant, you'll notice that we still haven't put away our laundry, and we might never. We also are a little crazy, or at least I am, and I need to wash my sheets and bedding every single week, pretty much. So then when it's the night where we have to put our duvet cover back on, which is the most annoying chore, we usually postpone it at least one day. Lunch was pretty yummy. Normally when I'm in a new country, I only like to eat that country's cuisine because I always feel uneasy about going to China for example and eating Mexican food it just doesn't seem right but we are in Mexico having burgers and that's kind of hard to mess up so it was good we said goodbye to some of our friends who we will see later on in Baja but it's always bittersweet because you make such amazing connections with people when you're on the road and then you don't know how long you have with them the friendships when you're on the road are in like a time warp that is sped up so much because obviously when you're living a traditional life and you have a house and a full-time job you commute to you really only see your friends maybe once a week maybe twice at the max and so here we get to basically live with each other every day all day so you get really close to people so it makes it even harder when you say goodbye but we know we will see some of them soon which is pretty special <music> to 
one of my favorite beaches in all of Baja. back at a very local beach. It was about an hour and a half drive from where we were the past couple of nights. And it's such a special beach because you have a huge... Wait, are we in a bay right now? Uh, yeah, we're in a bay. And it's super special because in front of me is the ocean, but it is a bay because it is the Gulf of California. And then behind me is all of these gorgeous mountains and cacti and bushland. So you get the desert and the ocean all in one. I just feel like we light up when we're in Baja. We are so so happy here and I think you can kind of see why so far. Whoa. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. 